Hello everyone, and welcome to this third level edition of Level Up. As our Ooh. group have now hit third level, it's time for one of these wonderful episodes. Uh, we don't have Isaac with us, unfortunately, so Thoric's going to have to level up on a separate occasion. Uh, but otherwise, we do have everybody else here. Uh, so, who would like to go first on levelling up to level three, folks? Well, I went first last time, so someone else. Uh, um, Nina, it's not it's not your time this time. Johan. Yes. Hey. Johan, let me flip over to the rogue uh, in the book of hands. Should the rogue. Straightforward. The book I of think hands. yours is fairly straightforward. Uh, now, I'm going to pose the usual question on mm -hmm. hit dice. To roll or take the average? I'm feeling lucky. Yes. <laughs> That's what we like. Uh, so it's a 1d8 for you, please, sir. E8 it is. Here we go. Eight. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Woohoo! Uh, Woo! I'm, I'm not. Hang on. <laughs> What's happening? There it is. I don't know if you could see it from here, but it's an eight. I see it. I see it. Well, liking the mug. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, sir. So, plus your constitution modifier to that as well. Lovely. That would be a plus one, so that's nine. Nine. Excellent. Um, okay. Are you are you following along on D and D Beyond at this point, sir? I am. Excellent. Uh, okay. Great. So, um, you'll be pleased to know as well, Ollie, that your sneak attack bonus has now increased to two D six from one D six. Oh my God. Very nice. Uh, but most importantly, Ollie, mm -hmm. uh, as we have discussed off air, um, you have to pick your uh, roguish archetype between uh, the thief, the assassin, or the arcane trickster. <laughs> I, uh, I'm sure that my, my my colleagues and our devoted listeners. We'll probably have a kind of inkling as to what I might pick. But for those who aren't, I will go with the assassin archetype. Excellent. Mm. Excellent. Okay. So, which means um, you gain a proficiency with a disguise kit or, oh, and, and the poisoner's kit. Yay. Now I can put that cinnamon to good use. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and. Poison. <laughs> Sorry. Poison. Excuse me. How foolish of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you also get the assassinate feature. Starting at third level, you are your deadliest when you get the drop on your enemies. You have advantage on attack rolls against any creature that hasn't taken a turn in combat yet. In addition, mm. any hit you score against a creature that is surprised is a critical hit. Yay. That's a lot of, lot of potential damage there. I'm gonna stab so many things. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually that's actually really fucking strong. I've just is, isn't it? reread that that time, realised uh, how strong yeah. it is. Rogues are quite OP, to be yeah. fair. Very I mean, low level. If you roll high on your initiative, you're shanking the hell out of people. <laughs> well, you've you've already spelled doom for that one, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If a big big if. Big if. <laughs> uh, all right, and I think that's you done. Lovely. Thank you very done. much. Wonderful. All right. So, uh, Anina or James? Do you want oh, to go on, yeah. All right. Okay. Hey. Awesome. Let me flick over to the bard in the book of hands. Just to check, how much XP did we get last session? Oh, now you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, tell me you uh, haven't. It was. It was pretty XP. much. It was pretty much bang on level three. That's all I can remember. Mm. Only for a, a few was, of us. I I rolled low. I remember that. But such is life. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty pretty sure you're bang on the level three number, James. Cool. Pretty sure. Uh, all right. So uh, for you, sir, first of all, roll or average? Well, you know me, Wayne. Embracing it's always the chaos. Of course. All right. A D8 for you as well, then, please, sir. Lovely stuff. Seven. Hey! hey! Do we the... plus constitution to that? Yep. Yes. Amazing. So that is 
plus two con nine, which is maths uh, 26, max HP now. Nice. That's not bad. That's not too That's shabby. Good. A little bard. That's all right. Okay, <laughs> so um, you also now know an extra spell. Ooh, of course. Um, and you also um, now can cast two second level spells <gasps> in your spell slots. <sighs> ah. <laughs> Which kind of suggests probably picking a second level spell for your spells known. Yes. But that is entirely up to you, of course, because you can power up spells. Um, uh, spells. There we go. Okay, yeah, just finding it on the... Uh, oh, okay. On the thing. Any idea what you want to take? Um, no. <laughs> That's all right. Well, look, whilst you're, whilst you're perusing spells, we'll go yes. over, because I know we've discussed your bard college. Um, we have. So, oh, actually, first of all, you get expertise as a feature. Um, so yes, I do. Third level, you choose two of your skill proficiencies, and your proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check you make that uses either of the chosen proficiencies. Lovely. I'm going to go, because I feel like Sergei needs it, with performance. Okay. And as well, he's been quite deceptive in recent days, um, and he's been very tricksy, if people have been catching up on the episodes, which is why I'm going to go with athletics. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, I'll go deception. I'll go deception. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. So performance and deception on your expertise. Wonderful. Um, and then you have your Bard College choice, which is a choice between the College of Law and the College of Valor. Now, I know we have discussed this, but I can't remember which one you said. I believe it was Valor. Oh yes, it was. Yes, yeah. it was. Okay. Um, which means then that you. When you join the College of Valor at third level, you gain a proficiency with medium armor, shields, and martial weapons. Ooh. Get in. Um, but you also get combat inspiration. Mm. So at third level, you learn to inspire others in battle. A creature that has a bardic inspiration die from you can roll that die and add the number rolled to a weapon damage roll it just Ooh. made. Ooh, extra Ooh, damage. I see. Alternatively, when an attack roll is made against the creature, it can use its reaction to roll the Bardic Inspiration die and add the number rolled to its AC against the attack. Against the attack, sorry. After seeing the roll, but before knowing whether it hits or misses. Fantastic. Little combat bard. E. E. I don't really understand that last bit, how that w works. Uh, add the number to the AC after seeing the roll, but before knowing whether it hits or misses. I mean, surely you know well, from the roll whether it hits or misses. I mean, the DM knows, so you have to say, oh, I'll add it to AC. Right? Well, it's against your, it's against you, so because yeah. you're adding it to your AC, so if the yeah. DM attacks, well, that is weird. you're going to know, you, if you've seen the roll... You're going to know what the number is and you're going to... Oh, I guess with the modifiers and stuff, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Awesome. Uh, any idea on that spell choice yet, James? Do I have access to second level spells now? You do. Yeah. <laughs> you should do anyway. Um, yes, it does. I, I can see them all, which is what I was uh, just quickly checking. Well, I feel like it's going to be a second level spell. Okay. Good choice. Makes sense. <laughs> Good choice. Um, I'm. <clears throat> There's a lot to choose from here. I've just looked at the list. There is a lot. I'm kind of tied up between three or four. Okay. So the ones I'm tied up between are heat metal, whole okay. person, yep. Ooh, and invisibility. Whole, whole person's good. Whole person is good. Heat metal, because if they're wearing armor, <laughs> a little bit torturous, but. Big fan. Big fan. <laughs> Big fan. Big fan. Big <laughs> fan. Um, also, I'm just looking at Warding Wind, and just the title really made me chuckle. 
Warding Wind. Warding Wind. <laughs> I don't know what book that's from. It's not in the PHB. Um, what are the expansions? Yeah, maybe one of the expansion ones. Um, but either way, oh, I'm going to narrow it down to heat metal or invisibility. Sorry, listeners, as I. Uh... I, I guess if you're not sure functionality, I guess flavor is always a good way to mm. lean. What feels most, Sergey? I love a flavored wind. The flavored wind. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to go with invisibility. I feel like he, uh... Sneaky McSneakerson. Yeah. That's a pretty strong spell as well. He does tend Very to useful. just wander off, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, no. If you're sneaky as well, we won't be able to find you. I have to put a bell on you or something. <laughs> <laughs> like... I put a bell on you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's you done then, I think, uh, James. Yes. If we get spell choice, wonderful. Not bad, not bad. All right, so uh, where's the fighter? Where are you, fighter? Obviously, I, I know you're there, Anina, but yeah. yeah. PHP. All right, so um, roll or average? Well, it has to be roll. Yes. <laughs> I started the trend. I need to follow through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please don't roll a one. Okay. Everybody else what? has rolled pretty high, so yep. law of averages isn't looking good. Uh, <laughs> pressure. What do I roll? Uh, 1d10, sorry. 1d10. Okay, where's, where's my 10? There. Okay. Come on. Nine. Yeah. Oh, nice. Plus your constitution modifier. Yeah, which is four. So that's an extra 13. That's all right. Nice. That's pretty beefy. That's pretty beefy. Um, which means that, that um, law of averages dictates that Thoric's going to roll like a one. <laughs> Let's not tell him. Squishy cleric. <laughs> Let's just pretend that everybody. Make yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, in terms of uh, class features, um, it's essentially the martial archetype for you at third level. So, you had the choice of champion, battlemaster, or eldritch knight. I think were your three. Yes. Well, I'm going to choose, of course, um, battlemaster. Battlemaster. Okay, combat superiority for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, When you choose this archetype at third level, you learn maneuvers that are fueled by special dice called superiority dice. Um, You learn three maneuvers of your choice. Hmm. How far? How far have you looked into this, Anina? A lot of maneuvers to choose from. I have not looked, but while we, if we don't start combat straight away, I can have a, I can have a read. Okay. Well, you'll get three maneuvers of your choice, <coughs> um, and later you'll learn other ones at 7th, mm-hmm. 10th, 15th level. Um, you have four superiority dice, which are D8s. A superiority die is expended when you use it, of course. You regain all of your expended superiority dice when you finish a short or long rest, and you gain more at 7th uh, and 15th. Uh, saving throws. Some of your manoeuvres require your target to make a saving throw to resist. The saving throw DC is calculated as follows. 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus your strength or dex modifier. It will probably all calculate it all on D&D Beyond for you yes. anyhow. Um, Can I choose them on D&D Beyond? You should be able to, yeah. Yes, let me have a look. Let me have a look. The list are, just for the audience, the list of manoeuvres are Commander Strike, Disarming Attack, Distracting Strike, Evasive Footwork, Fainting Attack, Goading Attack, Lunging Attack, Manoeuvring Attack, Menacing Attack, Parry, Precision Attack, Pushing Attack, Rally, Riposte, Sweeping Attack and Trip Attack. How do I add these in? This is a good question. Yeah. I like the sound of goading attack, so I'll probably That sounds very get saga. That. Yes. 
Um, How do I add it onto my thing? <laughs> well, whilst you're Manage. hunting for it, there's also um, oh, here we go. I think some I additional it. info for you. Mm -hmm. Student of War. At third level, you gain proficiency with one type of artisan's tools of your choice. Ooh. So there you go. Artisan's tools. Ooh, what artisan's tools? I like the sound of Smith's tools. Very oh, good. Leather. I thought it was, was going to be stuff like pottery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big cheese making. Because I'm, I'm, I'm what? A battle potter. When you think of artisans, you think of Etsy, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is cobbler's tools, which is interesting. Glass blower's tools. <laughs> Do you know what? We could all do with decent footwear. <laughs> that is not as funny as it sounds. That's actually very useful. If I get Smith's tools, does that mean I could fix armor and shit? Or improve it? Mm. Is this like... <laughs> <laughs> is this, is this like Skyrim? And I can just stand oh. near, stand near... <laughs> Uh, one of those thingies and be like, oh, look, my my, my sword is fixed. Saga, you coming? Can't. Got to make loads of iron daggers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and sell them. <laughs> and be over encumbered for the next 45 minutes. I can't just dump them. I made them. I need to sell them. Just walking very slowly around all the shops. <laughs> One's just bedecked in iron daggers. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs armor when you've got a shitload of iron yeah. daggers? <laughs> if you need a dagger, you can just pick one off Saga. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. That isn't. <laughs> just like, oh, all these daggers at the end. <laughs> oh my god. That's really. <laughs> I'm going to choose Smith stools. Wonderful. Maneuvers. So goading attack is definitely one. Ooh, got goading attacks and vicious mockery. <laughs> uh. You could double team with Sergei with vicious mockery and goading. <laughs> really getting their heads. I like menacing attack as well. Mm. Is that too much like goading attack? Sticks and stones. Well, I mean, I as I say, that. you guys, you guys love a bit of intimidation. This seems to be yeah. your uh, your mo. I know we've become like a party of Batman. Yeah. Like we're so good at Batman. interrogating people. Yeah. <laughs> one's menacing attack, definitely. And one, let's do some. Let's do something. Something fancier. Disarming attack. That's good. I love that you can't learn to lunge, even though you've, you've been fighting for years. Yeah. <laughs> you can now, suddenly you realise you can take a longer step. Oh, done. When Guys, you... look what I could do. <laughs> when you make a melee attack on your turn, you can expend one superiority dice to increase your reach for that attack by five feet. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. I'm doing lunging attack. If you hit, you add superiority die to the attack's damage roll. I'm going to do... Menacing and goading are very similar, so I'm thinking, should I change them? Menacing? What's a good menacing attack? When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one superiority die to attempt to frighten the target. You add the superiority die to the attack's damage roll on the target and must make a wisdom saving throw. It's fright... Well, well, I'd say they're actually two sides of a separate coin, because goading attack is... Is you're trying to get them to attack only you? Yeah, yeah. And Which, menacing it, attack is getting them to flee for their lives. Yeah. See, I definitely want to have goading attack because that's that's you'd be like attack me, not the uh -huh. rest of them. But then I kind of want to swap probably menacing attack for something else. Yeah, I'm gonna swap menacing attack. Okay. To maneuvering attack which means i can put one of my comrades into a more advantageous position Ooh. which is very clever which is basically i don't know me grabbing sergey and going there you go in you go <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> pick you up there you go <laughs> Please do. Please do it with Thoric. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he'd hate it and it would he'd be wonderful. <laughs> Get off me. I'd be like, Shh, stay still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be, that's happening. 
That's going to bring me so much joy. (laughs) (laughs) Put me down! No! (laughs) Johan doesn't weigh anything. Okay, I have chosen my three attacks. Excellent. Goading, maneuvering, and lunging. Good choices. Maybe I've done enough stretching that I've now got, like, less, like... (laughs) Oh, I can stretch my legs. You're like you're like Mr. Tickle now. Yeah. <laughs> I choose my skill, limbering up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right then, folks. I think that is it for uh, for leveling up then. Woo! And Woo. by association, therefore, that's it for level up. So catch um, you at level four. Yay! Yeah.